Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther, and this is Trinity. Trinity. Hey, Trinity. It's good to have you on with me on today. Of course, I'm Apostle Esther. Uh, we are here um, every Monday through Friday releasing content, and so I'm hanging out with Trinity today. Um, so let me just go ahead with my normal. Um, praise the Lord, everybody. Um, how do I normally start? <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. Can you say that? Can we shall rejoice. Oh, I have an let's do. We shall we rejoice. rejoice. Yes, we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Trinity and I have been hanging out today and uh, I've been doing what I do, all my study material all over my desk. And listen, we're going to talk about what she does. But let me say this. Apostle Chris, my husband, and I are the humble servants of Kings Court Ministries. We're located right here in the city of Fayetteville, North Carolina, 209 North Broad Street in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Come over and fellowship with us on our live services every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. You got it. We've changed it. We've changed it. So we're there at 10 a.m. So we ask you to come over and fellowship with us. So uh, Trinity, um, you are, are probably already viewing or, or have already viewed our live um, video, but she was my guest on Let's Talk. And so we're going to, we, we have had a very interesting conversation, but as I was sitting here and uh, just preparing for um, what I normally do um, is sometimes if I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and pop in a video and do a, um, a video and air it later. So we were sitting here and uh, she's just a, an artist at heart. Uh, she really is. So Trinity, how does this happen? Because I was running around trying to make sure everything was ready. Everything was set up. And I look down and here you are with one of your fine pieces of art. You want to show that piece tonight? I'm talking about probably in less than 20 minutes. Um, she sketched this. She is so talented. Tell us about this piece of art, Mike. And listen, put, pull it back up. I want you to notice how detailed it is. She is so detailed in everything that she does. So let's talk about your artwork on tonight. You said you you've named him. Are you sticking with that name? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm thinking about naming him Andrew. I'm not sure about like a last name or anything. Um. But yes. This did take like like 15 minutes, I believe. Wow. Just 15 minutes. Uh, more of the work was kind of shading it in and adding detail and all that. Um. But that was really it. Um. It doesn't really take me long. It just it's just the shading that it kind of takes the longest um i do like detail i i consider myself as a detail artist i like detail more than actually just drawing it and then saying oh i'm done i like adding detail it makes it look more realistic and more like actual real human yeah can you because can you turn that back around because i'm looking at the eyes i'm looking at the mustache and the nose i mean everything is just detailed even the bibbed cap I mean, that is just, that's what, what really, really caught my eye and um, how she has her own um, method of how she details. I mean, you can look at the ears, how she's detailed there. And I told her, I said, even with the lip, how she detailed, I don't know what this is called on the lip, but she's very detailed. So Trinity, how does this happen? Do you just see it in your head? Do you feel it? I'm going to pull that up a little closer. Um, most of the time, yes. Sometimes I just think and I'm like, okay, let me get, hurry up and get my sketchbook and get my pencil and all my stuff and just start doing it. Or sometimes I'll just draw a random head and wait a couple of hours till I think of something, maybe a couple of minutes, and I'll just do it. Wow, this is so amazing because um, just the other day, um, I was um, looking on Facebook and one of my friends said that her niece was very, very, very artistic, very similar to yourself. And she got exposed to um, this art gallery, I believe it is in New York. And she began working there. And guess what? Her art is displayed all in that museum, that museum now. Um, and that's exactly what I see happening in your life. So I encourage you, you know, as a matter of fact, whenever um, we're out and we see sketchbooks and I don't exactly know what she wants, but I know that a sketchbook is always something that she can appreciate. And uh, what is it, those Sharpie? Mm -hmm, sure, uh, 
thin tip Sharpie. <laughs> she, she knows exactly what it is that she wants, but sometimes she'll come over and I'll say, look, we picked you up something today. And she's definitely um, just very, very gifted. You want to show some more on this particular content? Um, I am just super, super, super proud of what she's doing and how God has just graced her to be able. I've seen her grow um, in her gift and in her talent and how she is very, very much um, committed to what she's doing. So I wanted to, of course, bring her on. This is another piece of her art. Um, I'm going to let her talk about that. Just amazing. Uh, this is probably my most detailed piece of art. Um, it's more so like the eyes and all that. This is when I first learned how to actually do detail. Um, as you can see, there's like dimples, the eyebrows, the eyebrow slit, the um, nose rings. Nose rings and the slit was probably the hardest thing um, with this because I had to kind of uh, reshape it. Um, so that was kind of confusing. I like having my stuff on both sides. I like having uh, same shape, same size. I don't like having anything <laughs> lopsided or anything. I like having to make sure I have that detail, not too much, and I don't want to have just a little bit. I like to have just enough. So, Trinity, how did you learn about detailing? What? Um, let me see. Uh, well, part of it, I just learned and kept doing it, and part of it was, um, I saw a video on TikTok, probably heard of it. <laughs> I saw a TikTok, I watched like three videos of this certain um, woman, she's very artistic as well, um, and she kind of taught me how to actually do it correctly, like with the nose ring and the eyebrows and the eyes, that's what I really learned, and then I kind of added my own detail to it. Wow, wow, that is just so amazing. I mean, just to literally see you sit here at the desk, everybody's doing whatever they're doing, and here you are just working at it. I really pray um, and I just declare and decree over your life that your art will hang in museums and this will just be a gift um, because the Bible says that your gift will make room for you and take you before great men. And so we just release that word over your life because you're so passionate and you're humble, the humility that comes with it. Um, so I wanted to bring you, is there another piece that you want to show while we're on today? This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite ones. Um, this one actually took, uh, let's say it took like 10 minutes because I focused more. Um, wow. it took 10 minutes and, um, uh, it was very quick. I just thought of it. Wow. Now, if, do you name all of your art? Uh, sometimes. And if I can't think of a name that really sticks, I'll just name them unknown. <laughs> and then sometimes like, if I think of something later on, then of course I'll go ahead and write it down. Um, but I named him James Matthew because oh. I mean, he kind of looks like one. <laughs> James Matthew. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Now, my um, final question, um, do you date your art? Yes. I like dating my art so that way in case anyone asks you, hey, when, you, when did you make this? I like to know specifics instead of guessing. That's awesome. And then you can also trailblaze back um, and see how you started and how you perfected in other areas. Um, because I remember when you, you first began, you were doing, what is it? Geometric, like, uh, like triangles and things tri like that. Triangles, like putting different shapes together, yeah. triangles, and then doing an upside down triangle. Sometimes putting circles and just putting them together would come out as something really cool. And so that to me, I remember when you first started doing that now to see you, um, progress and and mature more and do the faces is it, just just beyond me so yes i am one proud granny um to see how that she has just advanced in her her gift and how that she is just very passionate about it and i'm learning that as i walk through life that's what um really gets you to where you need to be is that you have to be um, I call it the dip principle. Um, that means that you're disciplined, you're intentional, you're purposeful, and you're consistent in doing what you do. And every time she comes over, she has that book bag, she has her pencils, and she has her sketchbooks. Um, so again, this is Trinity the drummer. Um, she um, has some videos out there where she drums. So she has many, many, many gifts, but this is probably one of the gifts 
um, as granny that I'm extremely proud of and, and, and her granddaddy as well and her, and her mom and the entire family. Um, just extremely proud to see how well and how graceful she is. So I'm excited, Trinity, to see how many roads you travel with your art. Um, I know that your Uncle Marcus has already gotten you in the museums. I mean, he already, he he, 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 rides, he rides you hard as an, let's talk about Uncle Marcus. Does he drive you hard? Sometimes, <laughs> but not all the time. I consider him as someone who kind of lifts me up. Oh, wow. So if I'm ever thinking of something, like, if I say I don't like it, he always sees something, same as my mom. They both they always see something that I may not see. Kind of runs in our family. That so is I like seeing different things. I like seeing the good and the bad. So that's totally, totally awesome. I guess me being the mom and I see how Marcus is just he drills you because he wants the very best for you. Um as as as, as you said, the entire family. So um, again, I really, really commend you on how well you're doing, how graceful you are in doing that. And I really want you to just, just stretch out your imagination um, and let your gift take you everywhere it's supposed to take you. Every door that's purpose for you to open, let that door open. Enjoy the moment. Don't rush the moment. Enjoy the moment. And so um, thank you for hanging out with me today. No problem. Oh, yeah. And by the way, this is the one. She, she's my critiquer. She's my editor. All of that good stuff. I love working behind the scenes with Trinity, but it's also um, a very honorable thing to have her on the platform with me on tonight. And you'll be seeing her um, on my lives and you'll be seeing her on as she's moving forward with um, her Trinity, the drummer as well. Um, she's just right now, she's still the drummer, but she's beating to a different drum. And that's with the pen, the pencil and the paper. And we're excited. Well, as you already know, I'm Apostle Esther and this is Trinity. Trinity. Good to have her with us on tonight. Know that Apostle Chris and I love you with the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're going to be back more. Trinity, will you come back and hang out with me some more? Of course. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you will be seeing us hanging out together. And uh, Trinity, you know I cannot let you go without asking you to say the favorite Bible verse that I love to hear you share. Why? Which one? My soul. My soul knows very well. Yes. My soul um, knows. Uh, um, I beautifully and wonderfully made. Marvelous I are their works, and my soul knoweth very well. Oh, I love to hear her quote that passage. Listen, I want you to have an amazing day. We're going to be back on tomorrow, and I don't know when Trinity is going to make another guest appearance, but you'll be seeing a lot of her. Have an amazing evening. God bless you.